my boat is moving silently. Obviously, I'm running with an electric trolling motor right now. I am using the Minn Kota Riptide 55 trolling motor. And right now I've got it set on speed number three out of five. And uh, we're moving along at approximately 1.5 miles per hour. But it's pretty much silent other than the water splashing against the side of the boat. Hi, I'm Wayne the Boat Guy, and in this video, we're going to talk about my new trolling motor that I just picked up. Well, new to me. So here it is. Here's the Minn Kota Riptide Series 55 pound of thrust transom mount trolling motor. They make several different types of trolling motors. The white ones seem to be the ones that are the saltwater series, which are called Riptide. And many of them are bow mount, because of course a lot of people who use trolling motors want them to be bow mount, but sometimes people want a transom mount one. Um, when this one came along, uh, I saw it on Facebook Marketplace. It was a very good price. Uh, I snagged it up because I wanted to try out a 12 volt, 55 pound thrust trolling motor. And the fact that it was a saltwater model, it was just sort of an added bonus for me because our water out here is brackish in our river. Uh, lots of people use freshwater trolling motors out here and they don't have any problem. They probably dry them out when they're done, don't use them a whole lot, rinse them off, I'm not sure. but. It is nice having a saltwater version because then I know I've got a little bit of added protection. Because with the saltwater models, they use this, uh, this is like a, it's not a PVC pipe, but they use a composite tube here and they have extra sealing in the engine and painting in the engine. <laughs> they have extra sealing up here and down below. And then also, I guess the way it's painted and the metals that they use are much more uh, suitable for saltwater environments. The propeller is supposed to be able to chop up any weeds and growth and um, it actually has an anode on it on the end of it. Where the nut is on the propeller there is a sacrificial anode on there which is quite cool. So today's the maiden voyage with my new trolling motor. It's actually the most powerful and biggest trolling motor that you can get that runs just off of 12 volts. So the way this works, the basic functionality is that uh, just like any other typical outboard, you have these two clamps that hold it onto your transom. Uh, you've got a pin here, which allows you to adjust your angle for how it sits on the back of the boat. So the, I got it in the first position and then there's actually only one other position. And then there's this lever here which you can use that to tilt the motor to different angles, depending on your needs, and then obviously to be able to bring it all the way up for storing it for transport. This nut here tightens it down and loosens it up so you can have it all the way loosened, or you can have it where it's got a little bit of resistance so that way as you're trolling around, it uh, doesn't just swing all around very easily that you have to put a little bit of effort into it. So you can kind of adjust this tightness for whatever you want and you can crank it all the way tight. This here is the height of the trolling motor. So how deep it goes into the water. Minn Kota recommends that the body of the motor is 12 inches under the water. So right now I have mine sitting up a little bit high for demonstration purposes, but if you wanted to lower it down, this is just a simple clip and you just place it wherever you want to. Since I have this tightened I can actually move this clip right now. So I can move this, tighten this up, and then as I loosen it, it drops down to that spot there. And vice versa. You have to lift it up if you want it to be up higher. The handle, like a lot of Minn Kota trolling motors, 
telescopes about six inches or so. This one has five forward speeds and three reverse speeds, and the handle also tilts up a couple of positions. The interesting thing about a lot of these trolling motors is that speeds one through four, very, very subtle differences in the speed. But once you click it over to five, it's definitely a, a significant difference and you see more power whenever you're on speed five. All right, let's open this thing up and go max speed here. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank it over to five. So this is four, which is only slightly faster than three. And the way many of these Minn Kota trolling motors work is that five is kind of a jump. And that's where you use your most electricity out of your battery. Um, but you get a jump in speed. And let's take a look and see what happens when I hit it to five. I mean, we had a noticeable pull. And you can hear the water sloshing behind us. Because we're actually moving along pretty good right now. However, that extra speed comes at the expense of faster wear on the battery. This trolling motor comes with loop ends on the battery cables so that you can fit them over the small threaded posts on your battery. And it has a battery test feature on there. I bought this one used and the battery test feature does not seem to do anything. I haven't been able to see anything show up on the top of the motor whenever I hit the battery test button with it connected to a good battery. The reason I purchased a 55 pound thrust trolling motor is because I wanted to see what the most powerful one that ran off of a single 12 volt battery was like. I wanted to see what that torque was like and I wanted to see whether or not it would have actually give me a higher top end speed. From my understanding, and please, if you have more information about trolling motors that I didn't cover here, please be sure to put that in the comments below. I like to learn as I go, and um, I'm still learning about trolling motors. And what they say with regards to pounds of thrust and trolling motors is it's basically like torque. So for example, if trolling motors are technically designed where they really only can propel a boat three miles an hour, the difference with the pounds of thrust is what size boat it can propel at three miles an hour. So for example, a very low thrust trolling motor, something under 20 pounds of thrust, that's designed for pushing a 12 to 14 foot light boat. But something with 55 pounds of thrust can push a much larger boat for trolling. And so I think these are designed for boats that are like 16, 18 feet, like perhaps a bass boat or whatever. And if you want to do some trolling with your bass boat and you had a 14 pounds thrust trolling motor, it's really not going to move it around very well. Well, a 55 pounds of thrust trolling motor will. But it's not like a 55 pound thrust trolling motor on a smaller boat is going to make that smaller boat go faster. At least that's the best that I can understand how this works. If you have a much smaller trolling motor like this Shakespeare Sigma, which weighs almost nothing, it has 14 pounds of thrust. And what I notice, though, is that with a small 12-foot boat like this, there's very little difference in the actual speed that it can propel this boat. When I did a side-by-side -side test, I was getting three to four miles per hour tops out of this 55 pound thrust, and I was getting two, almost three miles an hour tops out of this little Sigma. So very similar in propulsion and speed because they're both trolling motors. I think one of the differences is the amount of energy used to be able to propel it, and also how long it can propel your boat because of the amount of energy used with the different levels of thrust. So whenever I got this motor, I was actually kind of surprised at the weight. Um, and a lot of the weight is at the bottom where the electric motor is, not up here in the controller. 
Uh, but whenever I did weigh this, it actually came in at about 24 pounds. So these Riptide 55s actually come in two different shaft lengths. They come in, a, I believe, a 36 inch and a 48 inch. And this one here happens to be the taller one. This is the 48 inch. So with regards to how this performs as a trolling motor, obviously it works great. And there's plenty of trolling motor options out there. And their Endura C2 series is like $100 brand new and it's a 30 pound thrust trolling motor. That's sort of a no brainer for somebody who just wants an inexpensive trolling motor. Uh, this one costs significantly more than that new because it's the salt water and it's 55 pounds of thrust. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the Minn Kota Riptide 55. Here's another video picked just for you. And here's a playlist of videos that are, I guess, sort of similar to this one. <laughs> you stay safe out there in the water.